fruit pastilles. I don't know what to expect here. Look how they're sticking in my teeth. They won't come off of my teeth. Are they, is this supposed to feel like this? <laughs> I have a box. <laughs> All I just realized on the back side is this is fragile and I just slammed it on the desk. Welcome everybody to my channel. My name is Connor and today we got a pretty cool thing going on today. Okay, we got ourselves a box here from Canada. Our boy KJ sent over some delicious stuff. As far as I know, they said it's delicious. So we're gonna, we're gonna open this bad boy up and see what's going on inside, okay? And so the way that we're gonna be rating stuff, all right, we're gonna be rating stuff with Canadian flags, okay? Ranging from one Canadian flag to 10 Canadian flags, all right? That's what's gonna be going down today. So we're gonna be trying out the different things that's inside of this and rating those different boxes and whatever stuff is in there that he sent us. Make sure you guys stick to the absolute end of the episode to see which member got the member spotlight for this episode okay let's just jump into this thing i think what i'm gonna do is open it so this was sent to my p.o box if you guys are interested in sending stuff to our p.o box all the information is down in the description below i would highly recommend it it's some good stuff what's the first thing that's gonna be in here okay so we got a note here. Uh, so to start off, most of these can also be found in the UK, Australia, and New Zealand, and other places, not just Canada. The big thing is mainly the poutine. So there's gonna be an envelope in the box somewhere with instructions on how to make poutine with a pack of poutine gravy. Now, if you don't have any of these things there, blame Google, Google said you didn't. Okay. It's, uh, oh, well, one of these bags is open. I hope it's good. They're ketchup chips. I don't know how long they've been open for, but there's also a best buy date on here. There's there's a it's a, it's a, a there's a best before date on here, and it's December, it's December first, 2021. It's January for it's February first, 2022. They smell good still. I hope that, I'm gonna eat it still. I'm still gonna eat it. This is probably a bad idea, but I'm still gonna eat it. Okay, definitely stale. You can see inside of there. That had like a weird initial flavor. And then after it was super good. So if I'm gonna give an honest rating, I'd probably give these like like a, like a three out of 10 Canadian flags. Oh, more chips. Okay, we got ruffles. They're all, all dressed ruffles. Canadians, Canada's very own. You'll enjoy this bag ruffles, all dressed chips. They smell good still. They smell kind of like cardboard. Are they supposed to smell like cardboard? Oh, those are bomb. Yo, that gets like an eight out of 10. There's so much stuff in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess we're, maybe we do something other than chips. Fruit pastilles. I don't know what to expect here, okay? Dude, ah, it's like sticking in my teeth. They're not coming out of my teeth. Those are pretty good. I would say, um, it tastes like dots. Like the candy dots, that's what they taste like. They're called fruit pastilles. I'm not like a huge candy guy. I'm more of a chocolate guy, right? I give these like a probably like a five out of ten Canadian flags. Just because they're sticking in my teeth, they won't come off of my teeth. Are they, is this supposed to feel like this? Nestle Smarties. These are good still. 04 2022. Milk chocolate. What are these? What is this? Smarties. Is that chocolate with like Smarties in it? Now this is what I'm talking about. I love chocolate, dude. Oh, that's good. That's real good. Man, I just love chocolate. I would say for that chocolate, I'd probably give it like a seven out of 10 too. Okay, let's reel it back. Let's hit some savory here. Th why is this so, this is like almost the size of my head. Why is it so big? Are you serious? You know like the cheese balls you can get? These are the Cheeto version of them. 10 out of 10. Instant 10 out of 10 flags. Man, that, that's the business right there. Hello? Anybody in there? Okay. We got hickory sticks. S simulated flavor potato sticks. What does that even mean? Love them for the crunch, love them for the munch, love them for the taste. Oh, it's also in French. Hang on. Those are small. Look out. They're like little baby little, little fries. Ow. <laughs> oh. oh, those are good. And they're like kind of, it's like barbecue. That's why it says hickory. I'd give these probably like like a six out of 10. Okay, what's next? We got some drinks in here. Are these good? These are not good. Oh, it's iced coffee, man. It 
tastes good still. You know what? You know what the nice thing about this iced coffee is that it's not like syrupy. It's 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 a good flavor. It's a double double. I'd give I'd give this iced coffee probably like a uh, probably like a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten iced coffee. I love iced coffee. That's like one of my favorite things in the world. What is this? A coffee crisp? You have a lot of yeah, Nestle. There's a lot of Nestle stuff in Canada. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, hard. Why is it so hard? Like a three out of ten. Not a fan of that one. I don't know why. That one just didn't. It didn't hit me right. It just didn't taste the same. Oh, what is this? A wunderbar. <gasps> oh, nice. Okay, I've heard good things about this. This is good till February fifteenth, twenty twenty-two. So I got two weeks to eat this thing. Well, I'm gonna eat it today. We're gonna try it out today. Okay, it looks like a turd. It looks like a turd in, in beautiful packaging. It's just like me when I put a suit on. We're gonna try this out. Okay. You know what this tastes like? It tastes like a Butterfinger if a Butterfinger wasn't chalky. You know what I'm talking about? That's a 10 out of 10. It feels like a Rolls Royce in my mouth. That's so good. Wine gummies or wine gums from Main Maynard's, Maynard's wine gummies. They look pretty good. What we'll the open these bad boys up? Same thing, they're just hard. Why are they so hard to chew on? Why is everything in Canada so hard to chew on? My American teeth can't handle it. I'd give those probably like a three out of 10. Again, three out of 10. The cool thing is, is there hasn't been something in here that I'm like, wow, that's the worst thing I've ever tasted in my life. But you never know. We got a Milky Bar, a Nestle Milky Bar. I, I don't even know what to expect from this. What is that flavor? I don't like that flavor. That's a one out of 10. I want it out of my mouth. <coughs> What's a Kinder Surprise? That's okay, so there's a box here. It's a Kinder Surprise and there's a superhero from Miraculous. Oh, there's a couple in here. Oh, one of them opened up. One of these Kinder Sur <laughs> Surprise, this egg opened up. Look it, it's open already. What did I just uncover right now? Why would they put toys in chocolate? Isn't that considered a choking hazard? What is this toy? It looks like a rip-off Velma. Can I crack it like an egg? Like a... <laughs> I didn't expect that to work. I, I... What else? Okay, last one. Give me the toy. Give me the yolk. Okay, I'll keep this side of the Cadbury egg to eat, or the, the Kinder to eat. We got another... I want Pokemon cards. Okay. This is the, the egg. This is what everybody, you're supposed to eat the egg, right? Zero out of 10. That was trash. We have uh, a, a crunchy. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoot this over. Oh, sponge toffee surrounded in chocolate. Okay. So I will say, the sponge toffee is a 10 out of 10. The chocolate around it, is a eight out of 10. So the crunchy gets a nine out of 10. That's pretty good. Thank you again to KJ for sending me all those snacks and everything. If you guys have a care package that you guys wanna send with all sorts of snacks from a different country or a different state, you guys can go down to my description below, go check out our PO box and send it right down there. You guys know exactly what time it is. It is this episode's membership spotlight, which actually goes over to KJ. So shout out to KJ. Thank you so much for becoming a member. If you guys don't know, KJ is also a mod over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv4 slash Connor IGL, where I do all sorts of live streaming and stuff like that. So once again, shout out to KJ for the box and you got the membership uh, spotlight. Videos are popping up on the screen right now, including the last time that I did a video here on this channel. A video to recommend specifically for you. Make sure you guys subscribe, click that bell icon so you never miss an upload and we'll see your beautiful faces next time. Peace.